The next two stories that I'm going to read um, are actually fantastic for your budding readers um, to develop concept of word. And that is just the idea that the written text corresponds to what we're saying out loud. So a way that you can improve that at home is when you read to your child, you point to the words as you're saying them. Um, the reason why these two stories are so beneficial is because they have a lot of um, repetition, very, very simple words that are easy for your child to recognize and point to and say out loud. So this one is called, go, 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 stop. The author is Sharice Miracle Harper. And anytime the word go is in this book, it's actually color coded, it's in green. So you can help me read that. If you see it in green, you can say go. And anytime the word stop is written, what color do you think it's gonna be in? Red. So you'll help me say stop. Go, 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 stop. And we see, what are those? Oh yeah, exclamation marks, because we're shouting. Go, 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 stop. And I see a traffic light. And what do those colors mean on the traffic light? Red is stop, yellow is slow down, green, go. All right. Now I said that these books had a lot of repetition and easy words. So you can look at this page and you see that there are some parts that would be great for the parent to read aloud and then the part that's easy for the child to help you with. One day, Little Green said a word. It was his first word. He had never spoken before. The word was, it's in green, what does that say? Go! in the speech bubble. He's saying it. He liked how it sounded. He practiced it quiet. Can you practice it quiet? Go. Then medium. Go. And finally, very, very loud. Go. It was exciting to have a new word. Little Green couldn't wait to share it. He bounced into town, jumped to a high place, and shouted it for everyone to hear. Go! So check it out. What's the high place? Yeah, the traffic light. It was perfect timing. Nap time was just ending. Bulldozer was the first to wake up. I'm going to surprise dump truck, he said, and he pushed his load of dirt to the top of the hill. Dump truck is waiting to pick it up. Soon, everyone was awake and busy working on the new bridge. Making a new bridge here. And every different truck has a different job. So this one is pulling, carrying, mixing, holding, lifting, scooping, driving, and pushing. Oh, here's your turn to help me. Go, 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 shouted Little Green. Tow truck towed terrifically. Oh, we talked about this before. When words have the same sound at the beginning, tow truck towed terrifically, that's called alliteration. They all start with the same sound. Crane carried carefully. Dump truck dumped dependably. Mixer mixed marvelously. And backhoe waved his long arms in the air. Do you guys have a connection to this? What does that remind you of? This one going like this. Can you do that? Have you ever seen anything that goes like that? Yeah, I had those balloon mans at like car dealerships. That's what it reminded me of. The more Little Green shouted, Go, go, go! The faster everyone moved. But then, 
everything got a little crazy. Yeah, what's going to happen if they just keep going, 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 going? Nobody's paying attention. No one knew what to do. Oh, yikes. So we've got people running into each other, knocking stuff over, running into the wall. Little Green tried a whisper. Try a whisper with me. Go. Hoping it would slow things down. But it only made things worse. And everyone kept going. Oh, man. Now this guy's fallen over. What do they need? What will help fix this problem? They just keep going, going, going. They need somebody to tell them to stop. Oh, look. Suddenly, a stranger rolled into town. He looked here. He looked there. And then he jumped to a high place and shouted out the only word he knew. Okay, so where, where's the high place that you think he jumped to? The stoplight, the traffic light. And what does he yell? The only word he knows. Help me out. It was just what everyone needed to rest and get organized. Little green and little red were exact opposites. So if I have something that's opposite, it's something that's totally different, right? I could have up, something that's opposite or totally different would be down. If I have near, something that's opposite, totally different would be far. Hot, cold, happy, sad. So little green and little red were exact opposites. Can you help me as I point to these? Go, stop, stop, go, go, stop, go, stop, go. But they tried working together. It wasn't easy. Read this with me. Go, 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 go. Get off me. Sorry. Too much go. It wasn't fast. Go. Stop. 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 Why are you so far away? Sorry. Too much stop. But they finally found it. Go. 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 Stop. Oh, wait a second. I remember that. That's the title. It works. Way to go. It was the perfect amount of go and stop to get things done. Little Green and Little Red liked working together and they were good at it. The new bridge was finished just on time. Everyone was excited. Go, shouted Little Green and the cars raced across the bridge. So here's our traffic light. When it turns green, the cars can go. Then little yellow slid into town. He had something to say. Slow down. They were the perfect words for a busy bridge. So again, this story was go, 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 stop. And it's great for buddy greeters to point and read and help you read the text out loud. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.